Mr. Aliko, please ensure that the personal effects for the occupant of cell M7 are forwarded to Centauri Prime. Yes, right away, sir. Harry, are you certain? Yes, CJ. I think the merchants from Federation planets should have their cargo inspected upon entering Federation space. Oh, I thought you had previously said that merchants from non-Federation worlds shouldn't have to submit their cargo for inspection. You are correct there, Cyrano. They shouldn't have to. So, Federation-based merchants should undergo inspection, but not those from non-Federation worlds? Indubitably, sir. Hmm, I guess so. Doesn't seem fair, though. Mr. Mudd, Mr. Jones, I happen to overhear your remarks. Yes, Mr. Spock. The argument you are employing, Mr. Mudd, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacious reasoning practice of the double standard. I thought he was persuasive. That may seem so, Mr. Jones, but his argument is invalid. It employs the informal fallacy of applying a double standard. Mr. Mudd, you employ this biased and unjust reasoning practice in which hypocritical, biased, and or unfair attitudes are used whereby different sets of principles are applied for situations that are in principle the same. When two or more people, groups, organizations, circumstances, or events are treated differently even though they should be treated the same, it is considered improper reasoning. Having a double standard is not fair because two different standards are applied to two different groups. Yes, of course. Thank you, friend Spock. Indeed. I shall definitely endeavor to reword my statements in the future, my good sir. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit improper reasoning practices, such as applying an unfair double standard. It's only logical. 